All right, guys, so we, we focused a lot on Mercy lately, and we had that one video where I went Baptiste and I absolutely dominated, but the video wasn't strictly on Baptiste. So here we are gonna be utilizing Baptiste a lot more in this video to teach you guys the perks of, them, of him because honestly, his damage is so freaking good. His healing is just as good. He's a perfect balance. The trick to Baptiste, the trick to being a good Baptiste, is finding that balance, finding that healing versus damage, when to do damage, when to focus healing, um, how far out do you put yourself, because you're gonna have to put yourself out in the open a little bit to get some shots off, um, how to manage your cooldowns, and so on and so forth. This right here, your E, protects people from dying. Make sure you guys are utilizing that whenever you notice your team is about to go down, especially for they're together. AOE is one of his specialties. Um, you don't even have to alt like Mercy in order to get the AOE off. You just spam it down and anybody in that little area gets it. Um, you hit shift, anyone around you gets it. He's just an AOE animal. Now, I do believe this map, Mercy, is way better healer, but I wanted to go to show you guys how beneficial. Baptiste is and getting that kill off right there was crucial. I'm gonna go ahead and heal real quick And again, I don't have to put myself in a super vulnerable spot to to do that I can stay back. I can play back even with getting flanked in behind I can play these areas and uh, do my job And a lot of Baptiste like to play the front but again, that's not our objective. That's not the character Baptiste is Like right now, I think we're overextending. We need to play this we are putting ourselves in, a, in the vulnerable position to be flanked from behind. And sorry for the stutters while I play the game. It's a little distracting talking while I play because I actually am doing this live as we speak. Trying to get some heals off. Am I able to? Not fast enough. I'm going to pop my shift real quick. And again, overextending a little too much. Don't like this. It's only a matter of time before the enemy team does a lot of damage to us. And we're able to go ahead and do it. Oh, I'm, I got distracted. Did not heal my guy. I didn't E again. I got distracted right there doing damage. And that's a beautiful example um, of, of me just kind of playing that horribly. Going to pop that. Pop some heals. Get that out. Now, I do have this, which I will use right now. She just got nuked. There was nothing I could do in that one. She just got absolutely nuked. Now, I'm gonna be honest, we're overextending, but the enemy team's doing a very bad job of countering this. You do not want to overextend. Usually, this is a big mistake, but fortunately, the enemy team's just kind of holding their own. Notice their tank, too. Their tank has not pushed up one time. Um, very, very questionable. Now, notice how he was about to go down. I went ahead, used my E. He not only survived, but then I was able to shift on him, too, and uh, get that massive AoE off. Now remember, dude, a lot of people, again, want to do damage, but healing is just as fun, man. Getting that high number healing, getting them endorsements, getting the win, crucial. People sleep on healing, but I'm gonna be honest, being an efficient healer is a bigger game changer, in my opinion, than being an efficient DPSer. You need good DPSs, and there are DPS game changers out there, but, but that DPS can't do crap unless they have a good healer. Now, let's see. I got 3,700. I am out de out healing the other healer as well and um, out DPSing, not by much. But notice, you know, I started DPSing a little bit more. One of my guys died. Then I kind of stayed away from it and focused more on getting the shot off. Now, this is pretty, this is a highly accurate shot, but you have to kind of lead it. Now, I can't get to my team. I don't want to put myself super vulnerable. I want to run the corner and try to get some damage off. Trying around the corner to get to my team. Don't know if I'm gonna make it or not. There it is. Now that Bastion's crucial. Do not let him get you in his sights. Oh my gosh. Got a little DPS off right there. Get some more healing off. I'm gonna try my best to get to... There we go. That just comes down to map knowledge. I don't know why I did that and went that way. I should just cut him off like I did just now.
Now, again, we are overextended, but this team's allowing us to overextend, which is wild to me. Now, look, their tank's sitting in their spawn. That's honestly not really on the team. Their tank's just playing that horribly. Um, no offense at all, but that's a little selfish. Again, the, job, the tank's job is to be the tank. It's to jump in there. It's to distract the enemy and, and force us out of their spawn. Now, Wrecking Ball is just amazing. Look at this. I got you, brother. Now, we are backing up. We heard the alt go out. We're trying our best to back out of this. Unfortunately, my AoE did not reach him in time. Got to heal myself. Can't forget that. But that's something else, guys. You can heal yourself. I don't think I've talked about that. Um, a lot of you guys know that, but again, a lot of y'all are new. I was able to pop the shift in time. We are getting forced back, and I got stuck in a corner. Lost where I was at trying to get heals off. That's unfortunate. But again, we have another healer doing a decent job. They got 5,500. I've got 8,200. We're doing great as a team. Um, again, look how we're able to bully just again because we have two effective healers. We have two effective healers. Now, look at their healers. You got 4,600 and 2,200. As much damage as we were doing to that team, there's no reason why they have that little healing, none at all. And again, that just comes down with using the right healer. Um, I do believe they need a mercy. Again, I said this map was made for a mercy just because with, I mean, with the big ass archways, you can use so much cover and concealment in order to work your way around the team. Um, just a great job by my squad, but terrible job by their squad. And again, not judging, not trying to be mean, but that team's tank was really, really just not tanking. They were more of a DPS and that's not their role. Um, and then their healers, again, I'm not really sure what they were doing. Granted, again, the tank didn't give them much of an ability, but I think if I was on that squad, if my other healer was on that squad, the outcome would have been a little different. The outcome would have been way more different. And again, look at what we did, what we were able to accomplish with Baptiste. I'm gonna go ahead and play one more and uh, show you guys again, just the strong, the strength of Baptiste. We're gonna play with a whole different squad, a whole different team. Stay tuned. All right, he's distracting us up top. Not a huge deal. I'm not sure why she's pushing up as much. Doing a good job of playing the cover though. Look how much damage I do. Look how much damage. Forced him back instantly. Uh, waste. I don't know how I was able to pop my shift and it didn't heal me, but maybe it was just a hair too late. Threw it down as I died. Soldier 76 is doing a great job of just controlling that. Good job outplaying me. This is bad. We are we are getting bullied right now. Trying my best to get the heals off. And again, dude, we are, our tank's just out there in the middle of an open. Look at this. Now, this is kind of a bad spot for them to be in. They've kind of put themselves in an awkward situation. If we get another pick, we're able to force out of this. That left-hand side is such a good gatekeep. He keeps peeking, and he's, I'm going to try to time it perfectly. He's got his own personal healer over there. That's why I'm not able to shoot him. Now look, we need our tank to get out there and get a little aggressive. I'm not sure why our tank's sitting in here. Again, their, their objective, their objective is to physically push out and distract the enemy team. But I guess as the healer, I'm gonna have to push out. And notice, I, me and Soldier pushed out and our team's still in spawn. Sometimes as healers, there's nothing you can do. And I've already done 1600. Lucio is out healing me, thankfully. Um, but I have a feeling like this is going to be a very short-lived match. I don't think we're going to win this one, boys. I think the enemy team is just really good, and they're working together. Um, this Soldier 76 and that healer are doing a very good job of just putting us in a position. I would have used my E, but we're literally in spawn, so why would I? Now, as a healer, again, you notice how I try to push out and I die. That's not my job. It's D.Va's job. D.Va's got to go out there and make a play, um, but but they're not. We have no characters trying 
We have no characters out there. This is just, this is embarrassing at this point. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> But, you know, this is a good video because it shows you guys exactly, um, no matter how good your healers are, you're just in a spot. No one's even looking at the soldiers to our left. No one. Soldier 76 could really do some, some good right now. Um... Now we have the ability. Now we have the time. We got two picks. Now we should be pushing out, but we're still worried about this Reinhardt. Again, doing a great job distracting my squad. That's that's not what we're supposed to be doing. We should have pushed up the moment we had that. We do have a teammate up there, and they are kind of distracted right now, which is a really good thing. Now look. Ty Noon, that's not good. Ah, that was bad. That's just timing at its finest right there. Again, I probably shouldn't have pushed out for DPS. I should have played heals, but um, it is what it is. Their healers are doing a really good job. Um, I don't know if I'd say we're doing a good job. Our team's just kind of putting us in a position where we really can't do much. And again, I'm going to have to do some damage just to try our best to get out of here. We've got our Farah, who's got the ability to get leverage on the enemies. But here we are, all trapped in a corner. I don't know what's going on. I can't use my E right now, but luckily Lucio was able to... Uh... All right, we're able to get a kill. Now look, their tank's down. Again, we've got three of us. Unfortunately, one DPS. I don't know if this is a good time for us to be pushing out. Um, but this match is going to be very, very, very short-lived. And again, Soldier keeps moving inside. I don't know why. I have the ability to get damage off. I just threw out my E. I threw out my shift. Unfortunately, Lucio went for the jump. We were going to get it. And again, look. No matter what you do, sometimes you guys just cannot um, get the job done. Again, just because of lack of teamwork. I don't think any of my team was garbage. Um, I just think no one really worked together.